golden thread and that data record. But for those high rise and high risk buildings that are within scope of the new regulation, efforts must be made to do what we can to build up a picture of those buildings. But as I've said already several times in this presentation, I am confident that the regulator will do that in a proportionate way. But industry needs to do the best it can to pull what records it has together. Simply defending past poor practice by saying we don't have anything will not be good enough. My view is that we, we focus on collaborating, on working together, and we seize this opportunity to deliver new and better outcomes for everyone. We will have achieved a lot. Thank you. We do a lot with auditing O&Ms and reverse engineering O&Ms, and uh, that's never been the case. We never had that opportunity. So I think that's going to make a big difference because the, the client now has got a legal duty to confirm that they've received everything they need, and that's going to push that up to you know other people. The question is, how do we ensure that the incomplete building services design does not impact construction? When we're trying to discuss it, people generally very quick to point out what the challenges are. And there's quite a lot of challenges. Some of them we've listed on the whiteboard. But from my perspective, I would like to try to spin this conversation in the direction of, first of all, what we already discussed, acknowledge that most, if not all, projects in UK enter the construction without completed design. So this is a fact, definitely from my experience and many people I disgusted with. To be honest, I have never met a person who, yet, who said, oh, I started construction and the design was completely finished. It's interesting because, man, I need to take my sales hat off because a lot of the platform that's developed with OneEngage, as you probably know, George, covers a lot of those aspects. The only thing that's in there is a minor development. We're tweaking at the moment, but coming back to um, the, the fire and rescue services, interestingly, the, and the first point that you picked up, the conversations that we've had specifically around housing and housing management, They've all come back, well, I'll say they've all come back. Maybe two or three of them have come back to us and said, we've got significant issues with other buildings that fall out of scope that we would like to see covered as well. So there are things like general higher risk buildings and also things like care homes, specifically in relation to things like peeps and things like that as well. 